Welcome back to the channel. Now that we're entering into fall and many of the birds are flying south, I'm naturally finding it harder to spot birds to photograph. I can often hear them, but I can't find them. In this video, I want to take a different approach to bird photography accessories and look at the spotting scope. A few weeks back, I came across a couple of bird watchers using spotting scopes to locate birds migrating south. I've seen people using scopes before, but never really paid much attention to them. I've always thought of spotting scopes as bird watching gear. Then it hit me like a brick, and I realized that while bird photography is bird watching, or at least a form of bird watching, so I naturally started to wonder about using a spotting scope to help me with my bird photography. Can this bird watching gear help me more easily locate birds so that I can increase the number of opportunities I have for capturing birds? So that's the plan for today. Take a spotting scope with me to help me locate more birds so that I can take more bird photos. Well, we're out here in the middle of the field, surrounded by a bunch of wooded areas. I can hear blue jays and cardinals, some chickadees, and I think I've even heard a couple of goldfinches around. But the problem is, where are they? The spotting scope and binoculars I have with me today were sent to me by the folks at SV Bonnie. SV Bonnie is well known for their affordable telescopes and astronomy products. And they're using that expertise in their spotting scopes and binoculars. They sent me along three products with some accessories for me to try out. First, we have here the SV Bonnie SA405 20 to 60 times zooms with a 85 millimeter diameter objective lens. It's ED optical system with army green with a 45 degree eyepiece. I'll pop all the specs on the screen, but here are some of the key features that I found. Extra low dispersion glass, nitrogen filled IPX6, waterproof and O-ring sealed, making it waterproof and fog proof. And that's very important for early morning bird photography or fall and spring when the weather can change very quickly. It also has the capability of using a Wi-Fi camera that replaces the eyepiece. You will see what the spotting scope sees through your cell phone via an app where you can take photos and videos at 1080p. I'll include some video taken with the scope throughout the video so you can get a sense of how powerful the spotting scope is. The other spotting scope is the SV Bonnie SA412 spotting scope. It's 20 to 60 times zoom with an 80 millimeter diameter objective lens. It's also waterproof and fog proof, rated at IPX65. And finally, I have the SV Bonnie SA203 12 by 50 binoculars. And again, they're waterproof. I'll leave links to all this gear in the description below so you can take a closer look at them. So here we are out in the middle of nowhere looking for birds. At this point, my workflow is to use these binoculars to get a general sense of where the birds are. Then using the spotting scope to get a closer look at the birds to get a sense of what's going on with them. Are they passing by or are they maybe hanging around? Basically, should I stay put where I am or pack up all my gear and head to a different location closer to the birds? I was lucky today and was able to stay put and grab some photos, which I'll be putting up on the screen now. So what do you think of using a spotting scope as part of your bird photography? As I think you'll see in the video captured from the scope, you get a lot closer to the birds with a spotting scope than you can with binoculars or even a long lens like the 200 to 600 millimeter Sony lens, which I was using today. This helps take a lot of the guesswork out of where to go to capture bird photos. So yes, it did help me with my bird photography and it's a piece of gear I'll continue to use. The biggest challenge with a spotting scope is that it's another piece of gear to carry with you. The scope and tripod are basically another camera and tripod. This tripod is made of carbon fiber and is pretty light and combined with the large spotting scope the overall weight is less than a camera and tripod but it's still physically large enough that it acts like a second camera setup. I can certainly see me using it when I'm heading out to areas where I know there are a few birds or locations I plan to be at for the whole day but when I'm heading out for an hour or so to a wooded area that's closer to home it will be a toss-up as to whether I take a spotting scope with me or not. If I do I'll take the smaller SA 412 with me and pack it in my bag. Now the binoculars on the other hand, they're always with me regardless of where I go. Well, I hope you found this video on using spotting scopes for bird photography helpful. I'm curious to know if any of you are using spotting scopes or are considering using spotting scopes. If so, please share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd like to thank you for tuning in and appreciate all the support I've received. Your comments and questions are often thought provoking and inspire me for upcoming videos. I'd also like to thank the folks at SV Bonnie for sending over the spotting scopes and binocular. 
certainly gear I was considering for bird photography and I'm glad I have them with me now. Again, links will be in the description below for all of the products I use today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe notifications button below so you won't miss my next video. It really helps me out. And if you'd like to learn more about my bird photography and how I took each photo, check out my Instagram channel where I detail the birding camera I used, the lens I used, along with the camera settings for each of the bird photos. Remember, it's your photography. Go shoot it.